let's search again on Google. I'm going to search for virtual min. Virtual M I N. Enter. And here's the website. Okay. Now uh, let's go right ahead to the download section here. Slash download. Okay. Download the virtual min install script. This is what we want. Okay. And we want the GPL version or the free version. Okay. We're going to choose the one for Linux because we are using Linux in our VPS. And I'm going to save it. There we go. I'm, I'm going to open this. Open containing folder. So I can open this with um, WordPad or Notepad or select a program. So I'm going to open the text file with let's say WordPad because it keeps the text formatting. There we go. Now, this is the script for the installation script, right? For installing virtual min. So, to make it easy, I'm going to select all of this text by pressing control A or select all. Okay? I'm going to copy this. Copy the whole text here. Copy the whole thing. Okay, now I'm going to put this inside my VPS, right? Go back to Putty. Now here, I'm going to create a new file named installed. I'm going to use edit. Do we have edit? Let's try. Edit install.sh. We don't have edit, so we're going to use vi install.sh well, what is vi? vi is just a simple text editor in a um, Linux or Unix environment so it's pretty simple just follow my guide here okay vi install.sh enter okay so it's gonna bring up the let me see it's already here Oh yeah, maybe I have, I'm going to quit, I have downloaded it before, so I'm going to list, yeah, I have, I have it installed, so I'm going to remove that now. So you don't have to follow this, okay, I'm just going to show you how you can actually have the install script inside your VPS. So just type vi install.sh and type or press i, the letter i, to insert. See the insert symbol on the left? Now right click here. So all the text which we just copied will be copied here. There as you can see, it's going to be copied all the way here. What I did, I just press the right click button on my mouse and it'll paste everything into the newly created file named install.hsh. So that's done. When done, press escape, the escape key. Okay? Now press the escape key. See the insert is gone now? That's mean we are outside the insert mode. So. I'm going to press um, that, that sign on your keyboard. What, is, what do you call that? Um, colon, right? And then write and quit. So I'm going to write the file and quit. So press colon, then W for write, Q for quit, and enter. So we have a file now. LS is for listing. LA 
we have a file named install.sh okay so we're gonna run that file now we're gonna run it okay so before we run it let's make it executable first we're gonna change the mode to 755 for install.sh now let's run it just type that dot slash install dot sh and press enter it's uh, gonna give you a notice that uh, it's gonna install a virtual main control panel into your virtual private server just uh, hit y for yes and hit enter here we go it's gonna do the whole pro installation process it's gonna take a while um, it's gonna take maybe around 30 minutes or something so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video and if it asks for a prompt or something for for me to enter I will resume the video otherwise um, just sit tight and lay back it's gonna take a while but you should not see any kind of error message if you see it's saying error error something and it's coming out of the installation um, process that means you got a problem okay so you have to fix that and most um, probably you need to install some something okay so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna um, continue when I see if it's asking for a prompt or for uh, an input from me so see it's taking a while it's gonna take a while to install the whole thing and sometimes it's just gonna sit there and like it's doing nothing but don't press anything don't don't uh, interrupt anything just just wait it out sometimes a single process like this is like it's like it's just sitting there and doing nothing just wait it out okay wait it out until it's completely finished now I'm gonna pause this video now